some tips on how to care for your hamster. Well, basically just some tips. Whether you're a new hamster owner or if you're about to get your new hamster. So, if you already know hamster care, then I suggest you do so. You don't need it. So, yeah guys. So guys, hamsters are not really easy pets to take care of. They take a lot of time and energy to take care of, such as cleaning their cage every two weeks, making sure they have food, a good food, making sure they don't have any dangerous beddings, making sure they have a good size cage, such as a 360 square inch cage, or a 70 by 30 inch centimeter cage if you live in the UK. And it's also not easy to take care of them because they need not tons of attention since they will probably mostly live alone. But it's always, so many people look over the size of the cage, how many toys they need, and they always think that hamsters are easy to take care of. But really there's a lot of detail to go in to hamster care. Now, instead of just listening to me go, around, go along this, I suggest looking at some future videos that I'm going to make, or I suggest some channels such as Chocolate Colors 26, Hopping Hammy, Aaron's Animals, and any other hamster care, because those are phenomenal hamster care channels, and they will give out amazing information. You guys also want to make sure you're always prepared, because if you're not prepared for your hamster, you're probably going to make the same mistake I made when I first got Echo. So basically, Peko had this um, dollar per gallon sale, which Peko usually has on the weekends, which is awesome. So we didn't have Echo then, but we decided to get the cage and everything, including Echo, right on that day. So really it wasn't a good idea of what... My family did, but really it wasn't my decision, it was my parents' decision to do it on the same day. So, I do not suggest doing that. I suggest getting the cage, getting everything set up, and then bringing your hamster home. Make sure you have 360 square inches of floor space of your hamster's cage, because that will make your hamster happier, and it will make sure that no stress can be caused. Because stress can lead to a very serious illness, which is wet tail. By watching this video, you guys are probably already taking your first step into searching up hamster care uh, in the hamster world. And it's always the best idea to go and search up hamster care. Because if you don't, you could end up like many people with small cages because a pet store person told you that small cages are okay, which... They're not. So, like I said before, go on to channels such as Chocolate Colors 26, Hopping Hammy, Aaron's Animals, Joy Georgina, and other hamster care channels. But there are many videos on YouTube that are misleading, like giving your hamster a bath in water, which you should never, ever do. So, please go and check out those channels because they will help your hamster live a happy healthy life and hopefully expand their lifespan a little bit which is rare to do but you know what it's possible another tip is that there are dangerous hamster products out there now there are lots but i'm just going to point out the ones that you guys are probably going to see the most and the first one or this two the first two are cedar and pine bedding. Now these are very bad for your hamster and you should never give this to your hamster. There is a chemical in the bedding, which is not an asthma bedding or hemp bedding, but there is in cedar and pine that can, if they're just breathing it in all day, then that can give them a chest infection or something wrong with their lungs. So it's a bad, bad, bad bedding to give them. And it's bad to give them scented bedding since their nose is very sensitive to lots of smells. Another one is extremely deadly to all hamsters and that is cotton or fluffy bedding. Now this can so many ways to kill your hamster, but the most way 
The most ways that it would kill your hamster is if it caught around their limb and they would instinctively chew their own leg off and it would they would swallow it and there would be a blockage in their system and it just it just kills so many hamsters it's just awful so those are the two main things to look out for there are many other things to look out for but other hamster care channels explain that like i said before So guys, this is yet another thing that people tend to look over when they haven't searched hamster care. And this is mesh and wire wheels. Now these are, you're always going to find them. They're going to be in the pet shop's hamster cages, which is completely awful. But I'm going to tell you guys why these hamster wheels are so bad. Now the reason why they are bad is because... They are metal, and as you guys know, if you guys were ever on monkey bars or anything like that, you get calcibs on your hands, but they're not as bad as what hamsters get. When they run on it for over, they run over 5 to 8 miles a night, so if they're running on metal with these little ridges, if you have a robo, their hand could be caught and could literally break it. And since they're in so much pain, they may have a chance that they would chew their own limb off, which is awful. And if you have a rat, their tail could be caught in it. And the worst of all, they could get Bumblefoot. Now Bumblefoot is like a blister that's much more red, much more painful to a hamster. And it's completely awful. And you should never give your hamster a mesh wheel. So yeah guys, that was it for this video and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe because, you know, I do hamster care videos, I do dog care videos, and I'm just enjoying YouTube so much, and I just, it make my day, so yeah guys, bye! bye.